I want to show you this really useful hack for sketching literally any graph using this calculator. You're going to use the table mode. So let's say, let's pick a graph that no one's going to know how to draw. Two to the X is pretty weird. And even if you're doing foundation, and if you don't understand what this means, you don't have to understand it. You just need to know how to use your calculator. So we're going to go menu. We're going to go down into table mode here. Where's table? Here. And we're going to put the function in. So the function is this thing. So two to the X. So two to the power of X. Then we hit equals. So I'm putting the function into my calculator. G of X, we leave blank. That's another function. We don't need another function. We always leave that blank and we press equals. They've asked for the table range. So you're building a table from your calculator and you're telling it where you want it to start and end. And these are the X values. And what I recommend for these types of graphs is minus two to plus two with a step one. Essentially what this is doing is, is finding out where the graph is at each of these points on the x-axis. And if that doesn't give you enough info, you can go from minus three to three, okay? And you can like expand the range. But let's just start with minus two to two because it's the quickest. Let me show you, press equals, and this gives you all of the coordinates on the graph. So it tells you minus two, 0 0.25. So what this is telling me for this graph here, and I could even sketch this like this, is at minus two, it's like just positive. So it's kind of there, it's really small. Where's the graph at minus one? Well, it's at minus one, 0 0.5. So it's gone up a little bit. So it's gone up a little bit. Then at zero, it's one. So then it goes to one at zero. And then what happens here and here? Oh, it goes up to two and up to four. So it goes up to two and then it goes up a little bit. Oh, look, it's shaped like that. Then we go back to our, and we're just looking at which graph looks like that. Oh yeah, it's this one. So the answer is A. If I had to sit here and teach you what each of these graphs actually means and how to spot a graph and how to spot different shapes and the fact this is cubic and this is a positive cubic, which means it's going in this direction, sine x is trigonometry graph, I'd, I'd be here for ages. What I'm trying to do is give you really quick hit, hints and tips and tricks that can uh, boost your grades as quickly as possible. And so you just keep doing this for this one and this one. There you go, three marks for free. You haven't had to learn any, any graphs. And again, even if you're good at graphs and you think you're really good, when you come back at the end of the paper, you want to double check. So you want, you might think, I think I got that right, but I'm not quite sure. That's why you've got it. You, you go over to your calculator, you punch the stuff in, you have a look at the shape of the graph and you double check and you know you, you will pick up on all your mistakes. It's an amazing way to check graphs. Hope that's, hope that's useful.